Hey guys, I'm Shantae from naturalveganmama.com where we're all about showing you how easy this vegan lifestyle can be. I caught up with Dr. Kevin Jenkins to bring you the top three mistakes new vegans make. Hey, I'm Dr. Kevin Jenkins of the Global Vegan Podcast, The Cool, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm here to talk about the top three mistakes new vegans make. The first mistake that a new vegan makes is operating from a mindset of scarcity. Sometimes when you're transitioning from, from uh, animal food to plant food, you think about, hey, what am I going to eat? What am I going to find to eat? Well, let me tell you something. There's over 30,000 varieties of plants on the planet that you can, the edible plants that you can eat from. So don't go into veganism thinking that you're gonna miss out on stuff. Listen, all you have to do is go into the supermarket and you see the abundance of all the kinds of plants and nuts and seeds that you can uh, eat from. So, no, first mistake is operating from a mindset of scarcity. Hey, folks, Dr. Kevin Jenkins here. Here's number two, worrying about protein. Now, let me tell you something. You don't need to worry about protein when you're eating plants. Plants have protein. Here's what you need to worry about. It's not the protein issue, it's the fiber issue. And those individuals who are on animal products, they don't get enough fiber because they're eating a lot of meat and, and starch. But as a newly found vegan who's eating plant food, you're going to enjoy it because you're going to have fiber. Matter of fact, if you are eating enough fiber, and Americans don't, uh, but if you're eating enough fiber, you should be going to the bathroom every time after you eat. That's the benefit of being a vegan. You won't have colon cancer, you won't be stopped up, you won't have all these things that meat eaters have because they don't have fiber. So the number two mistake is worrying more about protein, but you should pay attention to your fiber. So the third mistake that a new vegan makes is not having a support network. Hey folks, it is sometimes it's difficult for people to transition off of meat and uh, go to plant foods. You get pressure from your friends, pressure from your family. It is great to have a support network. Listen, there are several support groups on Facebook that you can join. Uh, you can join Instagram groups to get some encouragement. If you happen to be a, a vegan of color, you can, you can join uh, Vegan All The Way, Black and Vegan, Black Vegan Power, a Real Black Vegans, some of those support networks. But that's the third mistake. You have to have a support group to help you transition. All right, guys, so you got the doctor's top three. Don't operate from a mindset of scarcity. There are a plethora of fruits and vegetables that you can eat. Make sure you concentrate on fiber and don't worry about that protein because all of the fruits and vegetables have protein. And also, make sure you get that support. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more. Bye.